before this video starts, I just want to say I can't believe you guys got 2,500 likes on the last video as fast as you did. So for that, I'm going to reward you guys with his Instagram. Here it is on the screen, so be sure to go follow him and check that out. Today, we're going to talk about something a little bit more serious and something that's a very huge soft spot for me and a very private part of my life that I'm choosing to share with you guys because um, I feel like... I feel like if it could if it could better off at least one person watching this video, then it's gonna be 100% worth it. To add some context to this, I get a lot of messages from a lot of you guys, and a lot of it is you guys explaining your problems to me and asking for advice and asking how to look at things in a more positive manner. And I truly appreciate that. And a lot of you guys think that I live this perfect life because you know on YouTube I show you what I want to show you. You don't really get to see everything, but that's not always the case, and that's never the case for anybody. Although I try to be as transparent as possible, so that's where this video is coming from. I don't even, I've never really talked about this on camera before, and I don't even know where to begin with talking about this, but um, my mom is sick. She's disabled, uh, mentally disabled, however you want to describe it. Uh, she wasn't always that way. Uh, she has a long history of, um, of heart issues, and She's had a, pretty much every heart issue in the book. A heart attack, uh, a stroke. Her most recent um, thing that she's been through, this was when I was in sixth or seventh grade, so I was maybe like 13, 14 at the time. She had a cardiac arrest. For those of you who don't know what that is, it's basically there was a lack of oxygen going to the brain and the heart stopped and uh, it's very dangerous and usually kills nearly everybody that it happens to. Long story short, I uh, when I was like 13, whatever years old, I uh, went into my parents' room and my mom was in there and she, I found her unconscious, essentially dead with no heartbeat. Um, I was trained for events like this growing up. My dad uh, was a lieutenant fireman and I, was, I knew how to handle the situation um, because she's had heart attacks and strokes and I have grew up in another hospital with her prior to this. And um, she was unconscious and um, she, was, she was dead. Um, I'm sorry, it's just like bringing back weird, this is like bringing back memories. It's like, no, I haven't, I haven't talked about this in a while. I've fully talked about it, but um, uh, I handled the situation appropriately and did, the, and did the medical procedures that I needed to assist her before the paramedics got there. And um, she was straight in the hospital, went into a coma for, I don't know how many days, but uh, long story short, she woke up, but uh, she was unconscious for too long to the point of where she um, had brain damage. And she uh, she uh, is considered disabled now. She basically has short-term memory and has a major uh, uh, personality change. But the thing is, is she has her good days. Of, and I'm not going to get into it too much. But but um, she she's she's okay now. Uh, she's not the same person she used to be. Uh, it's a long story, but um, it was a horrible time in my life, and then one of the darkest times, and it made me grow up very quick because it forced me to to see things that you're not supposed to see at that young of an age. So uh, enough enough of this sad of sad shit. Like, where am I going with this? Um, and it's that it's that we all have our like. <sighs> We all have our weaknesses in life, and we all have that one thing at one point in our life that totally like fucks us up. Like it, 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 it makes you very. It, you don't understand why it happens to you, and it can it can really fuck you up. I think it's important on how to find positives in every fucked up situation. And again, this is so fucked up, and it's something that I've learned to deal with. But it forced me to grow up very quickly, and for that, for that, I'm fortunate. Of I wouldn't be who I am. I wouldn't be where I am today if if. You know, those events didn't happen the way that they did. Granted, yeah, I wish they didn't happen, but the fact that they did and I was able to make the best of it is what's important. Um, here I am now, 10 years later, and um, I'm, you know, I'm finding ways around it to still help um, my dad with my mom. And one of the things you guys ask is, oh, why aren't you wanting to live away at college? And the answer to that is I live at home to help with my mom. I caretake my mom. I've been, I've been caretaking my mom ever since she had her last major accident and she needed help. And so, you know, I'm living at home and uh, helping with my mom and that helps and a multitude of ways with the family, but also allows me to do things like this that I love, um, drive this car that I love and uh, it saves costs on, you know, saves thousands and thousands of dollars on not going away to an out of state college. And um, there's ways around everything is what I'm trying to say is in 
a lot of, I know there's some people out here that will relate to this. There are some people out here that probably have the same thing happen with their mom or with someone that they love in their family. I am 100% certain of that. And for that, that's what I want to speak to all you guys out there. If you're finding yourself in one of the most difficult situations in your life, just know that you need to look positive about it. And I know that's fucked up and hard to say. I know that's really hard to understand. Really hard to understand, but um, without it, you're dead in the water. And you got to do what you got to do to to, to, to to get the head back on your shoulders. And, and, you know, if you can look up, you can get up. That's one thing I always, I always remember and always thought about myself. There's always light at the end of the tunnel, and that's what I'm trying to say today. Besides all the sad and fucked up shit I was talking about, and I tried to make it as least, like, detailed as possible, um, you can you can find ways around things you never think you can and you can get over things you never think you're going to be able to get over um that is something i stand for and i will believe to the day i die because i'm proving it i'm proving it to myself every single day and i just want to help spread that message to you guys and also i want to let you guys in on on a little more personal note because i think um that will help a lot of you guys connect with, with everything, you know, a little better in the channel. And there's a GTR right there. So that's a nice change of note. And it's an alpha, that's an alpha GTR, goddamn. What am I trying to say here? You can get through the hard shit in your life, but you have to have a positive mindset every single day, or at least for the most part, to get through it. If you don't, your negative thoughts are gonna eat you alive. And I know probably what I was saying was really, um, was really out of order, and maybe, could, maybe even hard to follow, but that was all unscripted. I literally was just speaking that off the top of my head and it's it's hard. It's hard for us to talk about our insecurities and, and, and our problems and, and that's what I tried to do. I tried to do that in the most organized manner as possible. Anyway guys, that's my story. Um, if you can connect with this on any level, share a story down in the comment section below. Obviously only if you're comfortable, but I feel like it can help a lot of people and if, if it can help more people, then why not do it? Thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you next time. Peace out. Motivation is contagious. Hang out with those who inspire you and strive not to be like them, but only a better version of yourself. You will learn that there is a difference between alone and lonely. Life isn't always easy, but that's the beauty. You will learn how to be truly happy, and as much as you don't want to like it's a very, um, vulnerable, it's a very vulnerable spot. Vulnerable, vulnerable. Why can't I say that word? Vulnerable. Ver, 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 ver. Fuck, I can't say that word. <laughs> totally just ran that red light, not looking. I was looking at the camera, not the light, and I just, I just ran that red light. <laughs>